could feel the energy pulsing through my veins right now. I feel like going super saiyan. Ladies and gentlemen, the playoffs, the postseason is almost here, bro. I cannot wait. But before we get into anything, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Prince YouTube PS Convulsion signing in here, a.k.a. Prince Anthony. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm hyped up right now. We are a month away from the NBA playoffs. And ladies and gentlemen, we've been winning and grinning. Things have been going great. Nothing but positive vibes. Ah, oh, man. Let's simulate to the end of the season. But before I did the simulation, something really piqued my interest. Now, the end of the season is approaching and the rest of the teams we were supposed to face off against or are supposed to face off against are really not that good. But the Sacramento Kings really piqued my interest because they won one more game than us this season. They're 45 and 23 for the NBA season. We're 44 and 25. And the Sacramento Kings roster does not look that improved, bro. Like, they still have a lot of the same players that they have this year in real life. In terms of Marvin Bagley, Harrison Barnes. Like, the roster doesn't really look that much improved. So, I kind of want to face off against this team and see what they're made of. They're on a little bit of a winning streak. And I know I did say I was going to face off against better teams in the Eastern Conference. But the Sacramento Kings, bro, they're tempting me right now. They're really tempting me. I got to play this game. So, welcome to Charlotte as we get ready to face off against the Sacramento Kings that won 45 games this season. And it's starting five for us. Same as always, but we do have some former players facing off against us in Jerry and Grant and Jay Crowder. If you guys don't remember, both of those players was on our squad last season. So this game should be interesting. I'll see you guys after the game as always. Let's go Hornets. Yo, I think our home court advantage is increasing. How did we not win the tip? But it's at a B right now. That's crazy. Wasn't it like at a B minus? Last time I checked, yeah, I think it was either a B minus or a C plus. But anyways, let's see what the Sacramento Kings got first possession of the game. Moving the basketball, getting it to Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill pulls up, cannot get the shot to go. Time for us to push that tempo. Getting the ball up ahead to Brogdon. Easy dunk to start the game. Here's Buddy. Pulls up, gets the shot to go. He was really close to the basket, so didn't expect him to miss that. Let's see what we got. Here's D'Angelo Russell, trying to put the moves on him. Oh, look at that. Nice pass inside. This Kings team is disappointing me so far in the offensive end. Oh, Jerry and Grant, get that weak stuff out of here. Welcome back to Charlotte, Jerry and Grant. As I take it all the way to the basket with Paul George. I this team is a disappointment so far. Like, what are they doing? Oh, Jay Crowder? Welcome back to Charlotte. You brick the shot. <laughs> oh, man. Miles Turner got the takeover going right now. Let's see. What should I do in this position? I'm toying with them. But here it comes. Paul George. They got Michael Carter Williams. Why did I decide to play this game? Oh, that should have been an easy block. But hey, we got the defensive stop. Getting the ball up ahead. Let's see what I could do. Oh, yeah, dropped. Oh, man, I wanted Shamit to drop to the three-point line. Or go to the three-point line. But I'll take those two points. Here's Yogi. Yogi Farrell driving. Should I put the shot up? No, I'm going to kick it out. Oh, this is too much space. Oh, man, that was a bad shot. I should have took my time on that one. But kicking it out, Shamit cannot get it to go. Another offensive rebound. Let's go. Getting the ball to Jordan Bell. We throw it up again. Can I get to another offensive rebound? I miss again. Look at the hustle. Look at the hustle. <laughs> Willie Hurd and Gomez. Uh-oh. Let me see what you got, buddy. Buddy Hill pulls up. Can I get it to go? And Bam Adebayo cannot get the pullback to go. What is good with this team? Oh, that's too much space. I was wide open. Sham it. Oh, yeah. I'm saucing them up right now. Off the pick and roll. Look at this. I can get whatever I want. Andrew Harrison for three. I feel so bad for the Kings. They are not playing like a team that won more than 40 games. That's, that definitely should not have happened. I have no idea how they did it. But get that weak. Oh, man. That should have been a block. Definitely should have been a block. But end of the second quarter approaching. I'm driving to the basket. I'm going to take my time. I'm kicking it out. I'm launching one more three. It's a heat check. My team's on fire. <laughs> you want to play for us again, Jerry and Grant? Oh, he pulls up. Get out of here with that BS. He wasn't making that. But, of course, they get the rebound and the put back. Don't matter. We're still blowing them out. Here in the third quarter. Let's see what I got in this possession. Stepping back. Oh, that's too much space. He was stumbling. He was stumbling. d -Lo! Harrison Barnes to the basket. 
the Kings are still getting smacked. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Should I launch it? Oh, man, I want to launch a three-pointer again. But yeah, I left the paint wide open. d -Lo Oh, man, I missed that. That was a bad shot. I was trying to draw the foul. Nice offensive rebound. Kicking it out. d -Lo taking his time. Bang! Rattle up jump shot. Pretty wide open on that one. Got it to go. Probably not going to show the fourth quarter for this game. Because right now, we are definitely just smacking the Kings. This was a waste of my time. But this was a good warm-up for the postseason. Look at this. d -Lo all the way to the rim. Too easy. Taking my time trying to source him up. I should just run down the clock for the rest of the game. Look at this. I'm, oh, man. What just happened? Oh, there we go. Violation. I shot the technical free throw with d -Lo. Perfect release, of course. Let's see how we could end this third quarter. Oh, nice pass inside to Miles Turner. Yeah, this game is. I want to score one more time before this game is done. Get it to Chris Boucher. I'm throwing up a wild hook shot. Oh, I got it. Yo, what's good with my squad? We are definitely in playoff mode. We are definitely ready. This was a good W, bro. I feel good about this W. I didn't feel that way after our W against the New York Knicks. I was going to say L, but. We won against the Knicks in the last game, but it wasn't a pretty victory. This game, our offense was rolling, and we totally destroyed the Kings, bro. This team was really disappointing. Looking at the box score, Jerry and Grant, 0 of 7 from the field. Jay Crowder was 1 of 7 from the field. My former players are not looking too good. Buddy Hill, leading scorer for the Sacramento Kings, only scored 7 points. This was a horrible game for the Kings, bro. And as for us, another perfect team win, another perfect team effort. Looking at the box score, everybody was doing their thing. Paul George with 8, Landry Shaman with 9, Willie Hernan Gomez with 11 and 11, D'Angelo Russell with 13, 5 of 7 from the field. Our team is looking good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in playoff mode. Those are the type of Ws I like to see, bro. Oh my goodness. After the last episode, I honestly didn't know if we were ready for the postseason in that game that we played against the New York Knicks. But this game against the Kings really showed me that we are definitely ready for the playoffs. I cannot wait. I'm bringing my energy back up. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to simulate to the end of the season. That game against the Kings was the final game I'm playing for this season. It's time to look on to Greener Passions. It's time to look forward to the playoffs. But before we simulate to the end of the season, there are two things I'm going to do to make sure that my players do not get injured during the simulation. First thing first, the team practice. Bro, in my Magic series, Mo Bamba tore his right Achilles or left Achilles, one of his Achilles during practice, bro. So every other day, we basically have a game. And after those games, we have a practice. So I'm setting team practices to be after every two games. So after every two games that we play, we're going to have a team practice. I'm getting my team a lot more rest days, especially heading into the postseason. I need everybody fresh and ready. We already lost thigh ball to a season and an injury. We can't afford that to happen to anyone else. And the next thing that I did to lower the risk of injury is... The starters all have 25 minutes. That's the max that you could play. I even gave everybody coming off the bench minutes. I even called up Devontae Graham and Angel Delgado from the G League to have more bodies on the squad. The more players that's playing, the less people should get injured, bro. Especially our main players. I can't have something happen to PG. We definitely need him in the postseason. Time to simulate past our first week. We have games against the Trailblazers. The Denver Nuggets and the Phoenix Suns. Of course, we start to sim off, losing to the Portland Trailblazers. Come on, can we beat the Nuggets? Yes, we do. We should be able to beat the Phoenix Suns on our home court. Come on, that's a home game. Don't do me dirty 2K. And of course, they do. We take the L. We lost two games that week out of the three games that we played. And after every week, I am definitely going to check through my roster to make sure that none of our players got injured. So looking through my roster, D'Angelo Russell, of course, gets injured. Probably going to be out for a few weeks or so. And he has a broken right ankle. And he's out for the season? What? They did it. They did it, bro. They did it. They actually did it, bro. They... They took away our only hope of winning the NBA championship this season. Like, I really don't... I don't want to play this game no more. Like, they really beasted on my GM 2.0 this year. With the injuries, if you guys play my GM 2.0 on hard mode, 
the hardest difficulty. Y'all will know how beastly the injuries are, bro. Like, this is... This is insane. Like, we almost got to the postseason perfectly fine. And you mean to tell me I'll take away D'Angelo Russell 2K? Broken right ankle out for the season. And what gets me the most... What really gets me the most upset is not the fact that he's out for the rest of the season. Although, that's really upsetting me right now, too. But looking at his body health... His ankles are now red. Red, bro. One thing that I really pay attention to when it comes to building a team on my GM or my league doing rebuilds is the body health of players. That makes a major difference because if a player's entire body health is green, that means their risk of injury is not that high and you could build a solid team around them without having to worry about them getting injured every five seconds. But now on my GM 2.0 this year, on hard difficulty, whenever a player gets a serious injury like a broken right ankle, he's out for the season, his body health dips as well. Like. Before this injury, D'Angelo Russell's body health was all green. Everything was green. But now his ankles are red, meaning that there's a high chance that when he comes back from injury and he's playing next season, he's going to keep re-injuring that same broken ankle. I mean, look at this. Broken ankle, characteristic, it lingers, meaning that it's a high chance that it's going to come back again. He's going to be wearing ankle tape, 5% recovery speed, only 5%. This is, this is some real BS. Like, 2K really beasted on my team, bro. I don't even feel like playing this series no more. I should just end this series right here because there's no way we're winning a championship without D'Angelo Russell. Let me continue the simulation and get to the end of the season before really make any more comments about D'Lo. I really don't care, to be honest. We beat the Mavs, lost to the Raptors, our game against the Wizards. It's a home game. That should be a W. Okay. Got the W. whoop de doo Not simulating our last two games of the season against the Orlando Magic and the New York Knicks. We beat Orlando. Can we beat New York? I mean, we beat them before. There we go. We beat them again. So we end the season on a little bit of a winning streak. That's pretty good. MVP goes to Giannis. Rookie of the year goes to Dante Terry, a custom player from that custom 2K draft class. He averaged 17 points per game this season. Sabonis, six man of the year. Defensive player of the year, AD. And honestly, I don't care about the rest of the awards. Nobody from my squad won anything. After a 52 win season in the first round, we are facing off against the New York Knicks. We should definitely be able to beat them and move on to the second round, but we, without D'Lo, we're not going to beat the Brooklyn Nets because obviously they're going to destroy the Detroit Pistons and make it to the next round. So pretty much set in stone that the next round is going to be Brooklyn Nets versus us, the Charlotte Hornets. But honestly, I don't want to play the playoffs this season anymore. I probably want to simulate to the end. Let me know what I should do, guys, because right now I'm, I'm heartbroken. Like my heart literally got torn out. Let me see how we did this season at least. And I got to say, I'm really proud of my guys. We had a really good season in general, like, team-wise. Willie Hernan Gomez averaged 11 points, 10 rebounds. Miles Turner, who we traded for, 11 points, 9 rebounds. Brogdon had 12. Well, he averaged 12. Paul George averaged 18. D'Angelo Russell averaged 24 points and 5 assists. Well, technically 6 if you round up. 5.9. Let's round that up to 6 assists. But... He is not going to be playing in the postseason because he is out with a broken ankle. He's done for the season. And like I said, I really don't want to play the postseason anymore. I probably just want to skip to the end and get to the offseason and see what happens there. But I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, heartbroken, bro. Like, I'm really heartbroken. 2K hit me with the BS right before the playoffs. Like, really, really heartbroken. Leave some comments. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what to do. Because I'm lost right now. Don't know what to do. Also, click one of the playlists on the screen. Check out some other content. Content is lit. My content is fire. As always, leave a like. Told you guys to leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel. It's Prince of YouTube. Signing out, bro.